Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. It is sunflower season here in Southern California. So of course it reminds me of the first Sophia Loren, Marcello Mastriani movie I ever saw, Sunflower, from director Victoria De Sica. I was only nine years old when my mom took me to see this film. I know it sounds crazy. Why take a nine-year-old to see a Sophia Loren movie? But I think we went because Sunflower was the only G-rated film that was playing in town. This was the early years of the ratings code, when G wasn't a ghetto of family cartoons. 2001 was rated G. Airport, Big Jake, and even the bleak Beneath the Planet of the Apes were all rated G. Back then, G just meant no nudity or F-bombs. You also might question why my mom was taking a little kid to a foreign language film with subtitles. Well, don't worry, there were no subtitles. Because if a foreign language movie came to South Bend, Indiana, it was dubbed into English. I think I saw the dubbed version of Costa Gravis' Z the same year. And guess what? No one cared. That's how you saw international films back then. It actually allowed them to become popular entertainment across the country, not just art house fare. Even this trailer is dubbed. Most Americans first saw everything from La Dolce Vita to Seven Beauties dubbed into English. Heck, if you watch some of those films in their original language, they are dubbed anyway, because many weren't shot with sync sound. Anyway, I remember nine-year-old me being bored to tears by Sunflower, but I re-saw it again recently on the Criterion channel and thought it was terrific. It sent me down a whole Sophia Loren Marcello Mastriani deep dive. I watched just about everything. The omnibus films, Marriage Italian Style, and Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, both also directed by Victoria De Sica. These kind of anthology films were quite popular at the time, often with big directors like Visconti or Fellini coming in for different sections. Because of this multiple director thing, the films can be quite spotty, but because De Sica directs all the segments, the Mastriani Loren films are the best of the bunch. De Sica also is the director behind Loren's Best Actress Oscar win for the movie Two Women, the first time the Academy ever gave out that award to a non-English performance. Ironically, the best Loren Mastriani pairing is a film not directed by De Sica, 1977's A Special Day, just a heartbreaking masterpiece that's covered by Alan Arkish here on Trailers from Hell. Sunflower is middle of the pack, Loren Mastriani. It's got an epic scope. It spans decades and countries and wars. The film is produced by three of the 1960s biggest international names, Carlo Ponti, Arthur Cohen, and Joseph E. Levine. The screenplay is by the master Cesar Zavattini, who wrote the scripts for so many of the Sica's best work. Bicycle Thieves, Miracle in Milan, Umberto D, Shoeshine. There's also a beautiful score by Henry Mancini. We will let his music take us out. <laughs> 